Welcome to Nana's Hidden Apron. Going to do a little quick video of uh, supper, what I'm fixing for supper. It is a slow cooker type meal. We know uh, in the summertime, I really love to use my slow cooker. That'll be my microwave. <laughs> uh, we've been a little bit busy today getting things together. Uh, Tom gave Brinkley a haircut. Looks a whole lot better. Just a few this and that's around the house. Um, Hopefully a few more things we'll get to do. I hope. <laughs> but let me go ahead and show you guys what I've got here. Um, in my... I know I did a big spin around there, didn't I? Whoopsie. Can you see that? Can you see that over top of on the light there? Um, that. I just put that on there. I like to do those to cover the cords. Um, what I'm making uh, in my slow cooker here. Let me get you switched around so you can see what I've done. I have some coconut oil in the bottom of the uh, slow cooker. I sprayed it with some nonstick spray, avocado spray. Of, no, I'm sorry, olive oil spray. I've got seven chicken tenders in there. Those big globs up there. <laughs> That's actually sugar-free uh, apricot preserves. I have ginger. I have uh, garlic. A little bit of purple onion. Some brown sweetener. And a couple of tablespoons of teriyaki sauce. I also put a little bit of salt on there. Going to cook that on high for about two to four hours and then I'm going to serve it here we go I'm gonna serve it on top of the uh, green giant rice veggie cauliflower medley I used to not like the cauliflower rice but I do now and one of my favorite ways to eat uh, the cauliflower medley like that is to have uh, some kind of sauce on it I think I mentioned before that I look at my hair. Don't you look at that? <laughs> oh well. Uh, I think I mentioned before that a lot of times the cauliflower rice to me tastes a little bit like dirt. Um, so I like to use some sauces in it to cover up a little bit of that, but also just enough, you know, that I still get the good flavor from the cauliflower rice. So uh, if you guys haven't yet, I hope you will subscribe. If you like my content, give me a thumbs up. Let's YouTube know that you guys like my content. If you have any suggestions on other things I can add to this to make it taste even better, let me know. If you try it, let me know. Yeah. That's what I'm here for. Help you guys out. Let you guys help me out. Uh, dinner bell. There will be a dinner bell up here somewhere. If you subscribe, hit that. You will get notifications of every time I put something new on here. Uh, take a look at some of my other content. Let me know what you think. Hmm. Hopefully I can get my granddaughters in here, especially the older of the two, to help me cook some more. I look forward to Christmas cookies, holiday seasons, getting those babies in here and letting them just have fun and enjoying it. Anyway, this, after it gets finished cooking, I'm going to get back with you guys, show you what the finished product looks like. We'll see what Tom thinks about it. Uh, I've made it before. I just haven't put the apricot preserves in it. And it's uh, low carb. That's a good thing. Getting this weight back off that I put on while we were on this nice little hiatus. Okay. Y'all take care. I'll be back in a little while. Okay. Four hours later, I'm back. Uh... Could sit y'all down over here, let you watch me. Hello, can you see me? Hello.
let y'all watch me get all this stuff together. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, you want to see? Sure you do. That's why you're watching, right? There's the chicken after it cooked for four hours. Now you can shred it if you want to. Just however you want to do it. You can shred it or you can just put it on top of your uh, rice or, or your uh, cauliflower rice. If you shred it and you want to thicken up your broth that's in there, just add your little uh, xanthan gum. If you're not doing the low-carb keto type thing, you can top this with rice. You can put it over pasta. But uh, you want to... Oops. If you want to thicken that up, then you want to just, yeah, I made a mess. Go figure, right? Uh, use some xanthan gum to thicken up your broth. And there's what that looks like. Isn't it pretty? It's very pretty and colorful. And it, like I said, you know, it tastes good. It didn't taste good. I assure you, I would not eat it. <laughs> I would refuse. Put that on our plate like that. Give Tom the rest of it. That is hot. Yeah. Get her chicken on the plate. And I'm probably going to put a little more. Uh, of the teriyaki sauce on mine. Uh, this smells so good. Just the, you know, although it has no sweet to it, the sweetness that, that I smell in it that comes from all of the uh, add-ins like the preserves and all the, the brown sweetener. <laughs> I'm going to snag me another piece of chicken. Just a small piece. But it smells really good. But, you know, if, if you don't want to put more teriyaki sauce on yours, you can. I know a lot of people put ses, uh, the sesame oil and all that in their stuff, but I don't, you know, to me, less is better sometimes. And, and when it comes to something like this, for me, yeah. If you have to put all of that stuff in it to make it taste good, then maybe something's just not quite right with it yet. But we can just do a little, little drizzle of sauce over it like that. And let y'all turn around here so you can see just what I'm doing. I'm hoping my phone don't fall. A little drizzle like that and then hello then we're gonna get we're gonna get uh, the mister over here and let him give a taste get a little taste of this but I am gonna go ahead and get the, the it's soy sauce I keep saying teriyaki it's soy sauce I'll be all right I have said soy uh, teriyaki the entire time and it was soy Soy sauce. Make note of that. Soy sauce. So. Move this stuff over out of my way. I think I need to sneeze. Sorry, I got to take. Excuse me. Okay. My sneeze went away. So I threw something away instead. Okay. And Tom is here. Give this a try. Yes. I've made it before, so. It's not like so it's I want to give it a try. I've been smelling it for like four hours. <laughs> it's not like it's anything that's actually new for us. Uh, we've had it before. But I've, I've never vlogged making it before. I just hope it tastes as good. It does. <laughs> Boy, it's hot. Ooh. Yeah, it's definitely hot. Okay. That's that. 
You guys take care. Hope you enjoyed the vlog. It's it's quick and to the point. <laughs> Not a lot of shenanigans today. But, again, please subscribe. I'd appreciate it. You all take care. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.